okay, I have to speak out on this narrative, this talking point that the media and the Democrats have by saying that black people have been attacking Asians. And it's sad because I'm starting to hear more so-called black people say the same thing that statistics prove that there's always been an attack on Asians by black people. That is not true. That is not true at all. And I don't know why black people would accept that tag or that label as showing hate, racial hatred towards Asians. Now, it's quite interesting to me that a white man shot eight Asian women and the media started talking about what black people can do and how black people can be strong allies to Asian Americans right now. That's quite strange to me, being that black people have always had a certain level of respect for Asians. The so-called black people have always supported Asians. Even back in time, I can remember back in the 70s, going to the movie theater, watching martial art movies and Black people strongly supported the Asians. Black people wanted to fight like Asians. When I came up, I came up being a martial artist. When I finished, before I enlisted into the military, I made it to be a third degree black, black belt. After enlisted into the military, then... I started boxing, but before the military, I was into the martial arts since the age of probably seven or eight. I was into wrestling. When I entered the military, I started boxing. So black people have always supported Asians. Asians were set up in the so-called black communities. And black people would support them. Now, if there was an attack on anybody, Asians have been attacking black people. Even in China, there had been news articles where black businesses sold degrading products with the black face on it, mocking black people. If I'm not mistaken, it was a restaurant, I think it was McDonald's, where they had some type of advertisement with a black person on it, a black face. And there's black people that went to China and will tell you that they've dealt with some type or some level of racism. Now, I will admit there's racism on, on every level. But I know for myself personally, there's times that I've walked into Asian businesses. I had several grand in my pockets ready to spend with them. So I walked into this wholesale place. And this Asian person was on a ladder, I guess was stocking the shelves. So I'm standing there waiting and waiting and waiting. The person saw when I walked in and I'm patiently waiting. Well, a white dude walks in. The Asian immediately comes down off the ladder, walks to the white man and says, how may I help you? And I'm like, wait a minute. I've been standing here for the last five or 10 minutes. Then the Asian came like I was being bothered and just kind of, <sighs> what do you want? And I said, don't, never mind, never mind. And then I went next door and gave them my business. This times I've gotten on the subway and there was an Asian woman that was sitting in the seat. I sat down. She became extremely frustrated and got up. She could not sit next to me. She had an issue with sitting next to me on the subway. 
I care less. You take of all the accounts that the media don't talk about when black women were attacked by Asians in the hair shops and the nail salons. So it's quite interesting to me that there was no hype when Asians were attacking black women in their nail and hair salons, but yet now it's a thing where black, brown, and Asian have to come together. We should be allies. This is no more than a ploy. What I think is happening, and I want you guys to go to my Spreaker channel or my WordPress and subscribe. This video will still be on there even after YouTube take this video off. But what I think is happening is the Democrats are building an army. They're building an army of attack dogs to be able to, at their discretion, rise up and fight for their cause. Just look at Black Lives Matter and Antifa. They merged together and now you find that you see the majority of white people standing up holding signs saying Black Lives Matter but yet if you look outside the only see thing you see is poverty stricken reality. The only thing you see is racism. Black people are still on the bottom and black people are still fighting for equal rights. Now, white people that really don't understand and black people that practically sold out would say, how do we not have equal rights? What don't black people don't have? Now, it's one thing that black people can have homes, they can have cars, they can uh, have bank accounts. We have millionaires, Kanye West, the richest black man in America. But yet, black people are still being gunned down by police. And the cops are walking. They may give black people a few crumbs. Like with this whole... Um, Situation where the family got so many millions of dollars. It's interesting because they don't even deserve that. Because these are people that cared nothing about George Floyd. I don't think George Floyd's family should have gotten that money. If anything, if George Floyd got children, that money should have been set aside in an account. And the child's mother given a certain portion of that money and the rest is in the account because when George Floyd was alive, I almost guarantee you that he did not have the love and support of the family. Because if he did, and I know he's a grown man and he's responsible for his own actions, but if he had that kind of support from his family, George Floyd would not have been out there by himself being killed by police with a knee in his neck calling out for his moms. But this is no more than the Democrats building an army like they did with Black Lives Matter and Antifa. And notice, we don't hear nothing about Black Lives Matter now. They're silent. We don't hear nothing about Antifa. They're silent. But I guarantee you, if the Democrats have an agenda, let's just say Trump, by some miraculous way, becomes president again. Here comes Black Lives Matter. Stirring up the pot. Stirring up the anger and emotions in black people. In white people. You don't never see no Asians out there protesting for black people. When black people are gunned down, you don't see no support from Asians. But I have seen quite a few videos of Asians attacking black people, they've even put in movies. Remember that movie, Don't Be a Menace While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood? 
they put a little skit in there where they walked into the store and the Asian wife and husband was following them around the store. Hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. Or you break, you buy. Right? So we've been hearing this for a mighty long time from Asians. And it's probably because of their past experience with certain black people. But they put all of us in the same category. They don't support us. So now everybody is talking about uh, how the Asians are being targeted. But yet no one talked about where the Asian man viciously attacked a black female teenager. And let's see. Let me see if I can pull up when this happened. This happened, I'm, I'm sure, like a few years ago where an Asian man viciously attacks black female teenager in a nail salon. Nobody talks about that. But you got a situation where a white man shoots up these Asian shops, these massage parlors or whatever they call, kills eight Asian women, and now they're talking about how black people have always been targeting Asians. What does black people have to do with this white man did? So you're giving this white man a free pass? They're not talking about the true killer. They're making this a racial issue and this had nothing to do with race. So are Asians really a victim of racial discrimination? Are they really a victim of racial discrimination when even they themselves discriminated against the so-called black people, the Hebrews. They've done that, and they still do that. Now, I recall when I was in the military, one of my good friends, his name was Eddie Selga, right? And there was also a, a Hawaiian dude. I don't know if Hawaiians are considered Asian or if Samoans are considered Asians because they kind of they kind of all look alike, you know, and it's bad to say that, but they do. They look alike, right? So... I don't know. Maybe somebody can correct me. I don't know if Samoans or uh, Hawaiians are considered Asian, although I don't know. Although Hawaii is a part of America, but they all have that that Asian feature about them. Right. But I've had Samoan friends. I've had Hawaiian friends. I have I had Asian friends. And like I said, black people supported always supported Asians. But rarely do you see Asians support the so-called black people or the Hebrews in America. They don't support us. They don't support us. Back when I was growing up, man, just about every black dude, man, a lot of black dudes was into the martial arts. Everybody wanted to be like Bruce Lee. Right. And they basically worship Bruce, Bruce Lee on some um, on some form of a level they basically tried to worship this man because he was so good at what he did. Even to this very day, Bruce Lee is popular. Jet Li is popular. Jackie Chan is popular among black people. But you have a lot of Asians out there that don't like black people. They don't support. They will set up their businesses in the black community and make money off of the black community. And when their black customers walk in there, they treat them like crap. And in many cases, attack them. There's, in Brooklyn, there's been black people that protest and try to shut down Asian businesses because they attack black women. They just don't respect black people. They don't. So now they're the so-called victim of racial hate. When that white dude that shot up eight Asians, it had nothing to do with race at all. They say it's a lot to do with his sexual addictions. But yet black people are the ones that's targeted. Because black people have become the attack dogs for the Democrat Party. So whenever they want rebel rousers and whenever they want protesting, they go straight to the black community. Give you a couple of dollars, $1,400 here, $600 there, and now they're debating about $300 a week for a year that 
we're going to have to pay back a whole lot more. So then they're really not giving it to you because what they're going to do, they're going to attack other trillions of dollars with that little measly $300 a month to put it to feed their agenda. And the American public is going to have to pay for it. And this is off my topic, but I'm going to show you how we're going to end up paying for that. Already the gas prices are up. So any taxes that they hit these big businesses with, and it's something y'all don't understand. You're talking about how the rich people don't pay taxes. When they start taxing these big businesses, guess what the big businesses do? They offset those taxes by making you pay a higher price for their product. So when Trump was in office, we were paying like a dollar and something per gallon. Now it's almost $4 or $3 in some places. So that money is trickling down to the American people. Groceries are going to start going up. Everything is going to start going up. This is how big businesses and rich people get rid of their taxes. They make you pay them. And then you got New York State is about to go up on taxes. Along with the federal government that's going up on taxes. So we're getting hit with taxes on every end. They're creating a welfare country. To, ex to, to pay for those illegal immigrants that they're letting into this country. Interesting, huh? But you don't see that. The only thing you see is the $1,400 and the $300 that they're promising to give you. Every month. Something they're talking about now. So. I just had to say. And Brandon Tatum. I was, I was listening to the brother. And he started repeating those same talking points. About statistics. Say that black people. Have been attacking Asians more. And he kept repeating that. And I had to click off his video. I, I couldn't take that. Because it's a lie. It's a lie. And I know from, from, from personal experience that Asians, many Asians do not like the so-called Hebrews. They don't like the so-called black people. They don't like the Hebrews. They don't. And they've always discriminated against us. Although they will set up in your neighborhoods. And they will sell you the things you want and need. Right? And you will support them over a Hebrew business. You've been supporting Asians for a long time and black females, so-called black females, still go back into these hair and nail shops. Even after you're disrespect, disrespected, even after you're, you're attacked because they did something wrong and you want your money back. And then they end up closing those doors, they lock you up in there and they attack you. So, y'all got to stop that, man, because Asians are not victims here man they're not victims of racial hate they're not these are like protected class of people black people are not even protected class they're only protected class whenever the democrats want to get a job done black people are the, the attack dogs of the democrat party they merged with antifa and now they're trying to get the asians and the blacks to become allies, to stand up and fight and hold signs. And a lot of these pictures you see that they're holding up saying blacks, brown and Asian solidarity, blacks and Asian need you to need to unite. They're all white people. Just look in the photos. There's all white people out there. You may see like maybe one black person out there, but they're all white people pushing this agenda. White people hijacked Black Lives Matter. They hijacked it. So whenever they want to stir, up, stir the pot and to stir the emotions, they make these signs, Black, Brown, and Asian solidarity. Black people attacking Asians. Black people have become the scapegoat for the Democrat Party, for everybody else's ills. And they're not holding. Now the white dude, he he gonna, he may have to deal, but they putting it out there that black people they switch that real quick. The same media that black people support, CNN, had put out there that black people have been attacking Asians, 
and don't talk much about the white dude that shot up the eight Asians. So now black people are taking the blame for what this white dude did. So that's my take on it, man. Uh, but y'all need to stop that nonsense, man, because black people are not attacking Asians. If anything, you got Asians out there attacking black people. And that's documented. That's documented. That's on the internet. So, feedback. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Click on the Cash App and support this channel. Because it's not guaranteed that I'm going to be on YouTube. Because YouTube has been attacking my videos. And it's hard for me to muffle myself. It's hard for me to muffle myself. I just can't be quiet. So, Feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.